This should be a very good fight. Both of these fighters very scrappy. Uh, both fighters love to brawl. Only difference to set them apart. Uh, I think Easterly might have a slight advantage with that black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Very well said, Tusi. I think Easterling has a tremendous ground game, but Espinosa has serious knockout power in both of his hands. And this is going to be an interesting fight. Up. Looking to get Espinosa to the ground. Nice knee thrown to the thigh of Espinosa. Easterling is representing performance fitness mixed martial arts while Espinosa is representing the asylum fight team in Vallejo, California. Both two very respected schools, by the way. Easterling trains with the likes of Josh Paiva and Tyson Griffin in Albany. Oh, nice knee! Wow! What a start to this first round. Head tip a kick it. Head Head kick attempted there by uh, Espinosa. Looks like blood is coming from the nose of Espinosa. Nice. Easterly gets the takedown. Looking to go to full mount. What a scramble. Christian Espinosa scrambles back to his feet. It looks like Easterling trying to lock in the guillotine attempt right here. Espinosa doing a very good job defending. And he lands a knee. Easterling wisely cooling it on the acceleration. He doesn't want to burn himself out so early in the first. And Easterling reverses the position. This is an important fight for both fighters because both fighters can be in line for the flyweight championship or bantamweight championship, whichever weight class they decide to go in. Because these two guys are huge for flyweights. I mean, I wonder how much weight they cut. It looks like Christian Espinosa is bleeding from the nose. Oh, and he catches the right cross. Easterling tearing off on Christian Espinosa. Fires a vicious knee to the head. Espinosa holding on for dear life at this moment. Presses Easterling against the cage. Mad respect for Espinosa for surviving that onslaught by Easterling. Absolutely, those combinations were vicious, and he followed it up with a, uh, a knee straight to the to the head. It's no secret that Easterling is very explosive with hard knockout power to complement his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. I mean, he can keep it standing, or he can take it to the ground, whatever he wants. Nice front kick attempt. Oh, it looked like Leota Machida the way Espinosa threw it. Derek Easterling, Easterling fighting from the South Paul stance as, a, as Christian Espinosa is fighting from the Orthodox. I think Espinosa doesn't want to go for a nice takedown kick landed. because he wants to avoid the slick ground game of Easterling. High kick attempted. Christian Espinosa's got some really sound kicks, uh, throwing spinning back kicks and uh, roundhouse kicks frequently. Just a reminder, folks, this is a catchweight fight of 130 pounds. So it's not a flyweight fight nor a bantamweight fight. He's nice double leg! Wow! Double and lands the double leg takedown right into the guard of Christian Espinosa. I think Easterling has been watching videos of Jordan Barrows. I mean, the way he blasted Espinosa into the ground was very impressive. Look for Espinosa to get in a scramble. A very scrambles. nicely done. Very scrambles nice. Back, takes the back of Derek es Easterling. What a scramble by Christian Espinosa. Looking for a trip takedown. Easterling defending it very well. Derek Easterling has got that left hand wizard, that left arm wizard, preventing Espinosa from dropping levels, getting that takedown. Oh, vicious foot stomps. You know, I think this is a very smart move by Espinosa. Nice Not taking it to the landed. ground, but clinching with Easterling. 
And we have ourselves a fight, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you said it, Juicy. What a start to this round. I mean, excuse me, this fight. Two very highly skilled lower weight fighters. Yeah, both, both of them definitely came out here to bang today. Rush punches by Christian Espinosa. And these guys decide to brawl this round. Easter Lee locking up pushes Chris, Christian Espinosa against the fence. Espinosa able to reverse the situation. Nice foot stomps implemented by Espinosa. Both men are very good wrestlers. I think Easterling has a slight edge on the ground. Oh, definitely with that, uh, that black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I would say that would be correct, Brady. Easterling with a single leg. Let's it go. Nice hammer fist to the thigh. Oh, nice punch Espinoza. landed by Espinosa. No, Brady. Easter Lee looks like he's fading and fatigue-wise a little bit. I mean, we saw that in the previous fight in Lamar Reed. You know, all that muscle, it's hard for the uh, heart to pump all that oxygen into all that muscle. I mean, as you said earlier, it's hard. You know, a muscle car can perform very well initially, but it takes a, a big gas tank to supply it for, for long term. So I think that's what's happening here. Absolutely. Easter Lee attempting a takedown, ending up getting the back of Espinosa. But otherwise, Easterling is doing a very good job of composing himself, exploding when he needs to, and during the right moments. He's smothering Espinosa right now, and I think Espinosa needs to escape and take the fight back on his feet. Right. Espinosa also doing the right thing, though, by keeping his left shoulder against the fence. He needs to try to turn into Easterling. Nice reversal. Very nice. He landed to the body. Espinosa throwing some vicious foot stomps here. He's looking you to stop the hurts. toe off of Easterling. Easterling looking to, to sneak in a guillotine, it looks like. I don't think he's got his hands locked on the other end. Espinosa defending it really well. Easterling just took a very deep breath. I can only imagine how fatigued he feels right now. But he's throwing elbows. And they separate. Beautiful overhand right counter landed by Christian Espinosa. Nice fake of the right hand to the jab by Espinosa. He doesn't want to telegraph it too much because I think Easterling is on to him. Nice flurry of punches thrown by Christian Espinosa. Head kick just just missed. And Derek Easterling looking to tee off here. That's exactly what I was talking about, Tusi. He's just so explosive when he needs to be. Looking to lock up a Kamara. Oh, too slippery. Espinosa now pinning Derek Easterling against the fence. Nice knee by Easterling. This is where Espinosa wants to be, to wear out Derek Easterling. Look for Easterling to try to explode out of this any second. He has wrist control, he lets it go and they separate. Easterling has thrown his black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu out nice the window. Outside leg kick landed. As Easterling is content with throwing strikes with Christian Espinosa, a very good striker. Beautiful nice. combination thrown by Espinosa. Pins Easterling back against the fence. Easterling with the overhook of the right arm. It almost looked like a look of frustration on Easterling's face. 
as yeah. he asks himself, what do I got to do to get this kid off of me? Well, I'll tell you what he's got to do. He's got to use that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to his advantage. Uh, take Espinosa to the ground and uh, pull off a submission as we come to the end of the round. Beautiful reversal by Easterly. Throwing these to the face. And that's the end of the round. Espinoza needs... Our third and final round. Espinoza... Es Beautiful. Excuse me. Espinoza needs to replicate exactly what he did in the second. While Easterling knows that might be his game plan. So he rushes him before he gets to rush himself. Absolutely. I think Easterling's game plan is to get this fight to the ground. Where he dumps him on his head with a nice double leg takedown. But Espinosa scrambles right back out. Able to oh, get on top. Oh, right into a triangle. Oh, my God. Oh, he locks in the triangle. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. You have a black belt. Derek oh, Easterling. Jesus Christ. Got you in a triangle hold. Torn badly. In the beginning of the round. At first, I was going to say Easterling's too explosive for his own good, but he managed to land himself in a triangle position. It looks like Easterling is trying to go for an arm bar here. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Espinosa scrambles out of that triangle. Oh, wow. And gets top position. Lands right into side control. The fans are loving it here at Dragon I can't Ball believe what I just saw there. Christian Espinosa just got out of a triangle choke from a black belt. That was amazing. Well done. Well done by Christian Espinosa. And how he still has his arm in one piece is beyond me, but this is his fight right now. Easterling needs to get out of this side control position that he's in the bottom of. Absolutely. Easterling made, made a slight mistake there, and Espinosa was able to get out. Espinosa now in full mound. Espinosa looking to submit Derek Easterling with a guillotine choke. Looks like Derek Easterling, he's doing the right thing, getting back to his feet. Well done by Derek Easterling. Both men back on their feet. What a fight. What a fight, what a round. Fight going back and forth this round. Nice punches landed. Espinosa found a lot of success in this position in the second. I think he wants to keep Easterling here. Yeah, he's looking content to uh, pin Easterling up against the fence, knowing that he's in a dominant position. Doesn't look like he's too much going for a takedown. Easterling trying to reverse the position. Nice left elbow landing. Very good job by Espinosa. Easterling needs to work now to secure this third round if he has any gas left in the tank. Nice outside leg kick landed. Head kick followed up by a right straight. And back to the pin position against the fence. I think Derek Easterling needs to find a way to, reserve, to reverse this position because uh, he doesn't have a, a whole lot of time left on the clock. Good, good takedown defense by Easterling, but I don't really think Espinosa's trying his hardest to go for this takedown. I think he wants to lean on Easterling against the fence nice here. Nice elbows, nice elbows. Both men separate. Look for Easterling to go for another one of those nice double leg takedowns. Nice left jab landed. Beautiful roundhouse kick to the body. A very close fight. As we approach the end of the third, both fighters are going to try to finish this. I think Derek Easterling needs to do something to make a statement right now, because uh, Christian Espinosa has been controlling a lot of a lot of this round. I there agree. he goes. 
He pins Espinosa against the fence. I think he needs to be looking for a takedown as he goes for a single leg. Maybe an ankle pick. Espinosa throwing elbows. He's looking to run the pipe with that single leg and he switches to oh, the double. Oh, he takes his back. Very nicely done by Isola. He needs to drag Espinosa to the ground. I don't know why Espinosa gave up his back. And Derek completes the takedown. Not a whole lot of time left. He needs to start dropping bombs right now. And that's the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Very good fight. Very hard fought battle between the two uh, flyweight fighters. The, the scores are as follows. 30 to 27 in favor of the red corner. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight in favor of the blue corner. And twenty-nine to twenty-eight in favor of the winner, 